Hi friends, welcome to the Blueprint Nursing YouTube channel. My name's Abby and today we'll be reviewing the topic of uterine rupture. At the end of the review, we'll move on to a practice question to make sure you have a good grasp of the topic. This practice question will be similar to the ones you may see on your NCLEX Next Generation exam. Let's get started. When you think of uterine rupture, what immediately comes to mind? Maybe pregnancy? Medical emergency? Yes. Uterine rupture is a serious medical condition where the uterine wall has a tear or a hole in it. It is a relatively rare but extremely dangerous condition. The uterus is an organ that a fetus develops within during pregnancy. The uterus typically has a very strong muscular structure, but under certain circumstances, it can tear and rupture, leading to life-threatening circumstances for both the pregnant client and the baby. Let's talk about what causes uterine rupture. It can have various causes, but it typically occurs during labor, especially in clients with previous uterine surgery, such as a cesarean section. Other causes include induction of labor, abdominal trauma, and uterine abnormalities. What signs and symptoms would we expect a client with uterine rupture to present with? The symptoms can vary depending on the severity of the tear or rupture and whether it occurs during pregnancy or labor. These clients may present with sudden and severe abdominal pain, vaginal bleeding, and signs of shock. This includes a rapid heart rate and decreased blood pressure in the pregnant client and changes in fetal heart rate in the baby. If the rupture occurs during labor, it can lead to a loss in fetal station and cessation of contractions. Treatment for these clients includes immediate intervention since this is a medical emergency. It can include delivery of the baby and an emergency hysterectomy or a removal of the uterus, especially if the rupture is severe or there is excessive bleeding. Outside of treatment, prevention of this medical emergency is key. This includes careful monitoring of high-risk pregnancies such as those with a history of uterine surgery. Repeat C-sections may reduce the risk of rupture, and each client should be assessed individually to determine the best plan of care for them. All right, now that we've covered uterine rupture, let's run through a practice question. A nurse is working in triage of the obstetric unit. Which of the following clients should the nurse prioritize due to the highest risk of uterine rupture? One, a client at 32 weeks gestation with a history of uterine fibroids. Two, a client at 40 weeks gestation with a history of gestational diabetes. Three, a multi-paris client at 36 weeks gestation with a history of multiple cesareans. Or four, a prima gravita client at 38 weeks gestation with multiples. Take a moment to pause this video, think about your choices, and when you're ready, press play and we'll review together. Okay, let's review. One, a client at 32 weeks gestation with a history of uterine fibroids. Uterine fibroids can increase the risk of complications during pregnancy and labor as they distort the uterus's ability to contract, but they are not a direct cause of uterine rupture. The presence of uterine fibroids does make this client someone to pay closer attention to, but since this isn't a direct cause of uterine rupture, let's keep this option in mind and keep reviewing for a more applicable answer choice. Number two, a client at 40 weeks gestation with a history of gestational diabetes. Can you remember what gestational diabetes increases the risk of? Macrosomia or increased birth weight, shoulder dystocia, and complications related to blood glucose levels. While gestational diabetes can cause pregnancy complications, it does not directly increase the risk of uterine rupture, so let's cross this one off and keep reviewing. Number three, a multi client at 36 weeks gestation with a history of multiple cesareans. What do we know about a client who has had multiple cesareans? They're at increased risk for uterine rupture, yes! The scar tissue from previous surgeries becomes less and less flexible, putting the uterus at risk for tearing. This client is definitely our highest risk at this point, but let's review our last answer choice before making our final decision. Number four, a multi-gravita client at 38 weeks gestation with multiples. What do we know about a client that is labeled prima gravita? This is their first pregnancy. You got it. We also see that this client is pregnant with multiples. Although being pregnant with multiples will cause the uterus to grow more than it might with a singleton, neither multiples or a first-time pregnancy increases the risk of uterine rupture. It looks like that means the correct answer is number three, a multi client 
at 36 weeks gestation with a history of multiple cesareans. Great job. Thank you for reviewing Uterine Rapture with me. Remember to subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date on all things Blueprint Nursing. Also, check out our Facebook page, TikTok Lives, and our crash course to aid in your NCLEX studying. See you next time!